friends, today I'm going to show you simple steps to master the OBJ file format with your Bamboo Labs AMS printer. So let's get cracking. So friends, this is a Tinkercad project a user requested. They wanted to know how to take this image, the green part, and turn it into a 3D print with the border. I created this video the other day. If you have not checked it out, it only takes about seven minutes and I'll have a link to it in the cards. Today though, friends, I'm going to show you how to get it ready for printing on a Bamboo Labs AMS printer using the OBJ file type. Let me show you quickly what this design was made of. I'm going to use shift nudge to move that part away. And then I'm going to take this part and I'm going to ungroup it so you can see what I built. So right here, this green piece is the exact same piece as this hole. When I grouped those, it cut it out so it had a place to sit. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to hide it. And then I'm going to ungroup this part to show you what I did as well. I wanted a full base. So we've got the outline that was created using the outer line tool. And it also has a cylinder. If I ungroup it again, you'll see that that cylinder filled in the area that wasn't part of the outer line. And then if you look down here at the bottom, I added one more layer of this because I wanted to fill everything in. I wanted to print all black before I printed just the green. That would make the print faster because it could do all this layer the same color. So right now if we do show all, you'll see all those pieces come back. If we select them and do control G, we've got the exact base where it is totally filled and it has the place for this part to fit in. The user that had the question was disappointed with their techniques. They wouldn't line up. Just to show how slick this is, there's L for a line and if we choose center and center, you can see that it's back. Now I export this for 3D printing usually as two pieces. This would be STL1 and I would call it star top. And then the other one would be star base. So when I do this, it's export. Notice it's just the selected shape, STL. And then I change the name so I know which is which. This way I'm in total control when it gets to Bamboo Lab Studio. Now I had heard that OBJ files would carry the colors with them, but when I tried it, check this out, I did export, of course only the selected shapes, not all my practice pieces, and if I choose OBJ, right here I call this star logo. I'm going to hit cancel because I already have that, and let me show you what happens when we bring it into Bamboo Lab Studio. Step one, of course, is to extract it. So you can see here's star logo extracted. It gives us an MTL and the OBJ file. So real quickly, I'm in the Bamboo Lab Studio. There was an update today. Of course, I do recommend you do the updates, and we're going to click on the add new file. Now in that downloads, remember I had my base file format. It was in star logo and we simply grab Tinker OBJ. When we hit OK, you'll notice these are the four colors I am really using. This is the one it's asking about. I'm going to map that to green. Notice it also only shows one piece, which is a little bit weird. And when we hit OK, we get an error. So it could not load it. There was no geometry. I'm going to hit OK and hit OK. And let me go back and show you what I learned. So after experimenting, for some reason, it did not like that this piece is floating. Notice if I do hide, there's nothing underneath that part and the system couldn't handle it. If I do show all and bring that back, it's fine. I took these two right here and exported them. They worked absolutely perfect. And then I simply rebuilt my model. If we hide this outside, you can see this piece now goes all the way to the bottom. And we can peek underneath it and you can see that as well. The technique was the same, except this time, I cut this entire part out of that shape. If we double click to edit, you can see that is where it is cutting all the way through. When I click, that base becomes final. And now once again, we can still grab these, do L for align, and choose middle and middle. Now this one was exported as number three. I practiced a few others while I was fiddling. I'm also gonna try this right now. If we flip this 180 degrees so that base is up, now from the bottom, it is all there and it'll still print quicker, which is my goal for having the all black base. Let's see if this one loads. So now we can choose file export, OBJ, 
I'm gonna call this star logo four, still in my downloads folder. Of course, now we need to extract that. I'm gonna do right click, extract all, just make another folder. I do not need it to show me the files. And when we hit extract, there's our folder. Now we can return to Bamboo Lab Studio. I'm gonna get my colors back to right. So I'm gonna do AMS resync. These are the four colors I'm playing with. And let's see if we can add that new star logo. Once again, it was number four. There's my tinker object and hit open. I do want to get the color to number three. And I'm going to tell it OK. Check it out. We've still got the error. It cannot handle that complex two layer height. Or maybe I'm doing something wrong. If anybody's got a tip, let me know. But as you can see, I've tried four different ways and I really thought that might work. What I'm going to do now though is resync so I'm back to my normal colors and let's bring in the one I showed you that had the two layers all the way through. Once again downloads this was star logo 3, tinker object. Notice this one does have the two colors. It thinks I'm going to do number one. Instead I want to choose number four for that color and I want to do number three for this color. I'm going to tell it OK. I still have six over here, so I'm going to just resync that because I've only got four really available. And then I do want this to print a little faster, so I'm going to click on this design and I'm going to choose scale. I'm going to choose uniform scale and just make this one millimeter thick. And then I also want to flip it face down so we get that cool, smooth edge. Notice if we find the red one right here, we can just rotate it. And if you stay in the middle, it's easy to get to that 180 degree flip. And bingo, we are ready for 3D printing. Note there are always tons of settings you can play with in Bamboo Studio, but the cool thing is that you really don't have to. If your design looks like you want, you can simply hit slice plate, and then after a moment, hit print plate, and finally send it to the 3D printer. After a moment, it will switch to the device menu. Once that downloading has completed, you can hit play, and monitor everything from afar. And here we are, not too long after, a cool 3D print, once again printed upside down so that we get that awesome texture. <laughs> How cool is that? Before we quit on this project though, I'm gonna delete the one that we just brought in. It was awesome, but I wanna show you the other technique. Once again, if we add, go to downloads, notice I've got those two base STLs. I'm going to grab the two at one time and I'm going to bring them in. Yes, single object, multiple parts. When this shows up, you'll see that it's one color. We're going to fix that by going to the objects. I want the base to be black, so I'm going to switch it to number four. I want the top to be the green, so I'm going to switch it to green. That is the exact design I wanted. I do want to flip it over, so once again, I'm going to grab the entire part. I'm going to choose rotate. Let's grab that red one and stay inside so it's super easy to flip it over so we're going to get that awesome texture underneath. Of course, I could also move out here to my scale command, keep the uniform scale and set it to one millimeter just like I did before. So the other steps are a little easier, but also they limit you because you could not have the all black base, which would make this print faster. Check this out. If we hit slice on this right now, Check it out, our model print time goes from 11 minutes 10 seconds to almost 17 minutes long. Friends, as I wrap up, I want to say thanks to Joey for the comment. I had given it a try earlier and gotten that same error. This pushed me to fiddle around and find the way to make designs that would come in correctly, which of course can be useful with our Bamboo Labs AMS printers. Of course, friends, have a glorious day and keep tinkering. Friends, before you leave, I do want to take a moment to mention my website, ahlmodtech.com. I've got a page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing categories. Below that, you'll find my day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. If you scroll down just a little bit, you'll find my course, Tinkercad in 20 Days. It is hosted on cadclass.org. This video explains it all, and if you check right here, there is a coupon code that'll get you 25% off any course on the site. Of course, you can click Visit Now to get there in an instant.
Friends, I do also want to mention the built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me. HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.